In this video, we will be demonstrating how to resurface a fiberglass shower and bathtub unit with SureBond Ultra Glass 2000 finish. This coating system is the same used on ceramic bathtubs and tile walls. As always, be sure to take proper safety precautions and use chemical resistant gloves, a breathing mask, eye protection, and ventilate the work area with a fume exhauster. Begin by thoroughly rinsing everything with water and a sponge. TSP, which can be purchased at any home improvement store, can be used to clean the fixtures if the dirt buildup is extremely heavy. Alternatively, using our reducer solvent M17000 can be helpful as well. The tub must be thoroughly sanded using 220 grit wet sandpaper to remove any remaining dirt and residue. You will not get a good bond when applying the finish if there is any dirt or residue left on the tub surface. Make sure all the shine is removed off of the original surface. Begin by using a clean, dry, absorbent paper towel to remove the bulk of the moisture from the tub. Additionally, you may want to use your compressor's air hose to blow out any excess moisture. Cover the faucet and shower head with rubber gloves to prevent water drip leakage. All areas must be completely dry and the tub should now have a dull, clean appearance. Using half inch or three quarter inch masking tape, simply tape off the perimeter around the tile and floor where they meet the tub. Using a portable masking machine, place paper around the walls and floor. Remember, safety first. Using clean tack cloth, perform a final cleaning of the surfaces to remove any foreign materials. The bathtub surface should now be clean and smooth and ready for spraying. Prep the surface for spraying by wiping on Sealock 2000 clear primer with painter's cheesecloth or a soft paper towel. Only a light clear finish is necessary. Allow 5 minutes for Sealock 2000 to dry. Begin by mixing 6 ounces of Primer Base M16000 with 2 ounces of Primer Hardener M16001. Occasionally, some primer reducer may be required, M17001. Use X98 Fast Dry Hardener as needed, 5 to 20 drops per cup. If applying a slip guard surface, you will also need to mix 2.5 ounces of catalyzed top coat with 2 teaspoons of Skidtex powder. This will be rolled on the tub bottom over the primer before spraying the first top coat finish. The spraying of the primer coat should be done using two light coats in a pattern spray style. You will develop your own spray pattern style over time, but you can refer to MonroeProducts.com for our suggested pattern spray style. You can use the compressor's air hose to speed up the dry time. Tack cloth the surface as well with a clean tack cloth after the primer fully dries. You will begin by mixing up 10 ounces of SureBond Ultra Glass 2000 top coat base with 2 ounces of M15000 Ultra Glass 2000 hardener and then adding 2 to 3 ounces of solvent, thinning the solution as needed. During your second and possibly third touch up coat, you may need to reduce the finish further as needed depending on your weather conditions. Using the same suggested spray pattern used to apply the primer coat, spray a light coating of finish onto the tub, being sure not to overcoat the corners. Wait about 15 minutes for the surface to tack dry. Use X98 Fast Dry Hardener to speed up dry times if needed. You should be able to touch the side of the tub without your fingers sticking to the surface before continuing to a second coat. Next, spray a second heavier coat of finish using the same suggested spray pattern as before, again giving special attention to the corners. Let the surface dry about 10 to 15 minutes and spray a final touch-up coat only if needed. The tub should be allowed to dry for 24 to 36 hours prior to pulling off any tape or paper. Finally, recaulk all seams where required. After the caulk dries, the newly finished tub will be ready for use. Be sure to wash the fixture before using. 